Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and welcome to my lab. In this video, I'm going to show all of you the whole process for my post installation uh, on Fedora 42. So I recently had to format my computer, so I will have to go through this whole process. So I thought, well, I might as well just record this process. Uh, this is not going to be what you could call a tutorial. This is just going to be me going through the whole steps that I go and you might be surprised with how many people asked me to make a video like this in, in the past. Like, I'm actually surprised because this is like, I, it's just my way of installing things. I don't even know if it's like 100% correct, but it's just the way that I do things and I think it's quite complete, I would say. So yeah, guys, before we start, I just want to thank all of you because my channel recently got a thousand subscribers. Man, that's like, that, that's just insane. Like. I never thought this channel would even get a hundred subscribers because I like I literally just posted some random videos and some tutorials some random experiments and it's crazy to see like how some of those videos actually gather a lot of attention and that's so awesome but anyways guys thank you so much and yeah let's get to started so the first step that I do is to actually just open the terminal and let's just get our system updated so I just do sudo dnf update and then slash y then type your password and let this boy update itself um fedora 42 just got released so i don't think there will be too many packages for me to update but i can always be surprised and you know what dnf4 used to take a long time but man dnf5 has been one of the greatest additions in fedora like it's just so much faster than dnf4 so yeah after this completes i just reboot my computer and then i go with the next steps all right now that you restarted your computer let's follow with the next steps by the way this time i remember to set my computer to english just so it helps you because i know that there are a lot of people from all around the world that watches my videos and I actually got a very good feedback on this and I applied and now it's all in English so it's easier for you to follow. So the first step I do is to come here to mouse and touchpad and I disable mouse acceleration because oh my god it's so much better with it turned off. Damn. Then I come here to keyboard and I add uh, Chinese China, intelligent pain because I like to study Chinese. Uh, come here to preferences. I go to dictionary and I press space and then down arrow key and I do this for all this because it makes the Chinese keyboard more precise, takes into account some 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 like popular words and that kind of thing. All right, so now that that's set up, you can also uh, change the layout by pressing uh, super space. That's gonna change the layout. All right, so now I open Firefox and this is the first time i'm opening firefox so it might take a little bit more time uh then i come here to rpm fusion the website so remember i told you that this is not a tutorial i'm just going through the whole thing that i do to set this up uh, i come here to configuration and i copy this thing here so we can set up um rpm fusion in here so rpm fusion for those of you who don't know is the repositories for installing proprietary software uh, that's very important because i also want to install things like discord and that kind of thing all right um well i didn't even see that there's something new um you need to mention okay so apparently uh for the upstream metadata which is needed for the store to function correctly with the rpm fusion repositories uh apparently since dnf5 there's been a change so we actually have to uh use this command instead i didn't even see this before so yeah let's just put it here oh my god why did i do yeah just confirm that and let's let it do its thing so, like after we enable this we'll be able to install things like vlc and that kind of thing and also uh drivers that will accelerate um h264 and h265 video all right so if you have an nvidia computer that's this is the moment where you would come here to how to and apparently my internet went to crap all right so if you have an nvidia gpu this is the time where you would come here to how to then you would go to NVIDIA and you would run these uh, three commands here. So you would update your system, then install AKMod NVIDIA and then this and then reboot. I don't have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to skip this step. 
So I'm gonna come here to multimedia now on the how to tab and I'm gonna switch FFmpeg to FFmpeg non-free, which is just FFmpeg. Because by default, Fedora comes with FFmpeg free, which will not include the um, codecs needed for accelerating H.264 and that kind of thing. Now we're gonna install the additional codec, so just run this command here, yes. Uh, in this case, I have an AMD GPU, so I'm gonna follow the hardware codex for AMD. In case you have an Intel uh, GPU, you would install this. Uh, and in the case of NVIDIA, you have to install these two, but there are also some extra steps that you need to follow. It's been quite a while since I had an NVIDIA GPU. Um, so yeah, just run these two commands to install Mesa VA drivers free world, which will include the accelerated codex. And I'll install these other two because they're the 32 bit versions of these two. Uh, they're basically used by Steam for like streaming your game to another screen or to a friend's computer. All right, I'll also install this, like sometimes I install this, sometimes I don't. It really varies on my mood for the day because I don't even have a DVD player. <laughs> but hey, what if I'm without any internet and I suddenly decide to install my DVD drive on my computer? Like I will want that in my life. So yeah, um, now with all of this installed, I guess it's done. So the next step I do is to just open YouTube and I don't know, like just open really any video here at all. And I go to about support on Firefox and I scroll down all the way here and I verify that, well, only VP9 is supported. And that's because we need to restart Firefox because we just installed the new drivers, right? So let's, uh, uh, the reason why I actually open a random video here is just because Firefox will do all the verifications as, as soon as you play the first video. And now, yeah, we can see that H.264, VP9, and HEVC are all supported with hardware decoding. Actually, Firefox 137 started supporting HEVC, which is H.264, uh, I mean H.265. On for the next steps, I just come here and I search for Discord now that we enabled everything. Um, so I actually started installing the version from RPM instead of the Flatpak because I saw that Discord sometimes is kind of annoying using the Flatpak because like sometimes I'm trying to paste and copy something in and out from Discord and the Flathub version will just like... Ah, it's just kind of annoying sometimes. It won't let you do that. And you have to give it permission. So, like, what's even the point of doing that? And now I actually come to Terminal and I install Steam through here because I'm weird. Even though I could just install via the store. Yes, uh, install this. And do I need anything else in my life? We already got the Codex. We already got the Chinese keyboard. We already got RPM Fusion. All right, uh, I also like to do, to install these two programs here, which is libv, libv, libva, 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 utils, and also uh, nvtop. These two programs are very useful for uh, checking if the hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding are working correctly. So we can actually come here to H2, if my computer allows me to do so, H264, simple video. I think it's like this website. No, it's actually the second website here. And we can type here uh, VA info to check like if all of the codecs are working as expected. So valid means decoding and ink, ink slice means encoding. Uh, accelerated by what the hell is this <laughs> crap here? All right, we need to get uh, the ad block. So, oh my God. Jeez, uh, um, now I like to open NVTOP and check that when I open an H.264 video, dude, my internet is really slow right now, I don't know why. Uh, just check if the coding here um, uh, is activated. So yeah, we can see that everything is done correctly. And we're here and everything is installed. We got the, f the, the codex, we got everything we need to get going. Uh, Flight Hub also is enabled by default. Yeah, so some people like to use uh, like the 
bottom bar, the sidebar, the icons here that will show you the status. Honestly, after a few years of using GNOME, I just kind of got used to not having those things and I kind of like it. Like, I am, I know it's different and I know it sometimes is annoying. Like, you just want to minimize stuff without, like, having to go to another workspace or something like that. But, like, after a while, it just starts making sense and I just stopped, honestly, like, uh, stopped enabling that. So, I mean, just as a tip, if you want to um, enable, like, uh, we can just search for tweaks here on the store. And you can install GNOME Tweaks. This will only take a few seconds. And you can open this. And as you can see here in Windows, you can activate the Maximize and Minimize buttons. So you can more easily, like, minimize them. Um, honestly, I'm not even leaving them enabled anymore. Like when I want to close something, I'll just close. And if I'm not using it, it'll just go to the background. You know, like, I don't know, there are some, sometimes I really, really, really want to minimize something. So I'll just press super H and it'll go away. But that's like only a few times in a day. And also just for the cleaner looks, I'll just search for extensions here and install extensions from Fedora Linux, which is the red package. That means that it's from RPM and not FlatHub or Flatpak. Just open this and I like to disable background logo just to like take the Fedora logo out just so it's kind of cleaner. And you know, eh, that's it. Yeah, this is my computer for all of you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. It will, remember that this was not a tutorial. This is more of a like um, me showing you how I do things. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And oh my God, am I out of breath today? I don't know what happened. Uh, I think I might be getting sick. I don't know. But anyways, guys, this is the video. Sorry for ranting here at the end. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful to you. Maybe you learned some tips. Maybe you can give me some tips and we can all share tips and grow up as a society so thank you for being here thank you for watching this video and again thank you so much everybody for the thousand subscribers that's just really really awesome thank you guys so much peace out bye bye